a baseball on a piece of paper. So if I release these from rest at the same height at the same time, are they going to fall the same? Are they going to strike the, the table here at the same time? No. You sure? Yes. Okay. Are you still sure? Close. That's pretty close, right? <laughs> okay. I learned this from a community college physics teacher. I never forgot. Okay, well this shows, you know, air resistance depends critically on the shape. It's not just the mass, it depends upon the you know, shape. Um, there's another demonstration that I want to do that I didn't write in here that I learned from the same guy. Okay, now we're going to use the book. Okay, now, I'm not going to crumple it. I promise you, I'm not going to crumple it. Now, what do you think? Well, you think, you know, right? Well, we can do some things here. Now, this is not really interesting, but I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you. If I do this, they're obviously going to go the same, right? But what's interesting here is, what if I do this? What do you think is going to happen? Now, this is about, they're about the same size, okay? The paper's not hanging over the book. But suppose I do this, what do you think is going to happen? Let's do it. Falls right with it. What do you think is going on there? There's no wind resistance on paper. Yeah, it's called drafting, and I was going to look it up in Wikipedia. I think they are. It's known to all bicycle. Any bicycle people here? Right. In fact, there is a video that was just, that went viral of some bicyclists on a freeway right behind a truck, a large truck. Did anybody see that video? So a lot of people thought it was faked, but it turns out I think it, the experts decided it was real. Has anyone seen that video? I can't remember where I saw it. It was in the past few days. This is, you know, this is freeway speeds. So the, one of the things that's going on is this, you know, the air is, is going around like this. So it's reducing the air resistance. This is feeling. Another thing that can be going on, and I don't know, is there may be some kind of suction effect, right? So I'm, which would be different, because this is really close. A way to probe that would be to maybe put some, try to put some standoffs in here, maybe some little pads or something to separate, to try to kill the suction effect to see if it still happens. There's another thing that's, that bothers me about this. So this is it's a bicycle, it's right behind a big truck. On freeway speeds, right? When the when this falls and the air comes back here, it goes into kind of vortex motion. It's turbulent flow, and it may actually force the object behind it. That bicyclist might have been getting help from the flow there. So the question is: This is a question I don't know the answer to. Maybe some of you know. Can a and this is how physicists think? Can a bicycle can a, can a bicyclist go at freeway speeds in a vacuum? No, okay, now he, the person has some oxygen supply. Okay, so <laughs> and even, well, I even allow some performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> so, does anybody know the answer to that? Yes. 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 Yes, it's no. I don't know. I mean, there's not that much friction in a bicycle, you know, a good bicycle. Maybe they can reach freeway speeds. Maybe it's all, are they battling air resistance all the time? There's also friction, you know, in the axle and stuff like that. I don't know the answer to that. Well, I, I think... I had a roommate who routine, would routinely cycle 45, 50 miles an hour. I mean... Wow. Oh, so that Especially means if you're drafting off of the back of a... Okay. Back, back of a, something going faster. Yeah. The yeah, issue here is, is there, is there actually some forward pre... You know, when this bicycle's going on, is there some, something propelling the bicycle due to the flow here? I, I've never heard of that. But, you know, my first thought was, well, a bicyclist can't, even, even though there's drafting going on, you know, the bicyclist is not encountering the air resistance, they can't keep up with that speed, but I, I'll, I'll bet they can, in the absence of air resistance. Yeah. So maybe this propelling effect's not that. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Uh, okay. So any other any questions or comments about that?